mocking. Okay, uh, <clears throat> very important form of power play is, is lying, right? And you can have lies, because lies are usually told to make sure that something happens or doesn't happen. Um, so lies can be from the very bold, crude, bold lies, you know, bold face. You know, and they can also go up and down to the very subtle lies of omission where you, ma you manage not to say something or you manage to give the wrong impression about something. So, subtle lies. Uh, <clears throat> I think some of the most subtle, subtle psychological power playing is um, propaganda, you know, that, you know, just putting on stories and inform information, disinformation to bend people's minds to cause them to do things. And right now, right this minute today, you know, we are in, we're in a sea of propaganda from all sorts of directions that, that is affecting us and is making a difference. So these are the power plays that, that people use. Now usually in a workshop like this there aren't going to be any killing or torture, I promise you that. Um, but, you know, and you know, insults obviously, you know, these things are kept out just because we're all civilized good people. But that doesn't mean that there won't be potential for, for other types of power plays. So we're going to try to have a, a meeting in which no power plays are used whatsoever. That means that you never have to do anything you don't want to do. You cannot try to get somebody else to do something they don't want to do. You have to ask for everything you want. And you don't, you know, everybody has to ask for everything they want because otherwise you're lying about what you want. And then nobody has to do anything they don't want to do. And so that balance between everybody getting what they, as much as they want and nobody doing, you know, giving and taking as much as people want makes for a situation where a lot of people get, more, more of the people get more of what they want.